I was asked to speak about a topic which really is well known and something that everyone knows how serious it is. And that is to strengthen the COVID of Albat Metroshis and Albat Knesias. Strengthening the COVID of Albat Metroshis and Bat Knesias is something which today Akash Boch has done with us a tremendous hatova. After all, Akash Boch, who is knowing this world, leads this world in, in an oifin of Hester upon him. Where Akash Boch doesn't show himself. But I feel that Meroiv Ava, Meroiv love that he has to Klau Yisrael and to us, is he showed us clearly in the current events of what we're doing wrong and what is needed to correct. The current events tells us that in the Mokim Hamikdash, the, the holiest of our Mokimis, where there's Tefillah and Torah 24 hours a day, and yet in this Mokim of so much Torah and so much Tefillah and so much Tehillim, should come along a group of people and want to violate the cover of this mocking. And they have, got, they have gotten clearance. How could it be? How could it be that such a mocking should come along people to think that they could do it and it was accepted by the government? Quite clear, Akhish Bokh is telling us, because we're not upholding the covet of our Batakanasias and our Batimitroshis. We are not holding up knowing that it's a Mokim Shechina. We come in there to socialize. We come in to talk to each other. We come in to talk when we're supposed to be davening, we're supposed to be upholding the covet of this Batakanasias and Batimitroshis. We walk in with our cell phones with our smartphones, we email, we text, all these things, you understand, everyone understands, does not belong in the base Hashem, does not belong in the Migdash Miat, and being that people aren't taking it serious enough, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Meroiv Ava, says to us, Mida Bemida, look what's happening by the Koisel, look what's happening by the mocking wheat, as the most Kedusha possible, with such mayudiki in there to uphold that fiducia. And yet, even in that mokim, texting is going on, cell phones being used, talking there, Bishaz davening is going on. And therefore, Rebani Shom says, look what your mice bring, please. I'd like to take something out of the safer of mills. Everyone knows the story of the person that got sick and came to Rav Miller and complained, why did he get sick? And Rav Miller asked him, where does he daven? Do they talk by davening? And Rav Miller therefore ordered him to leave the shul, even though he was very comfortable there, and he felt it was a good place for him to daven. But Rav Miller said, if they talk, leave. And the story is said over that he left and he got well. In other words, what Rav Miller is telling us that it's possible that we, a person, before he leaves this world, finds himself in a coma, not able to talk. He's a lucky individual because it could be that the reason why he's in this uh, matzav is because the hours that he spent talking in shoes collected, and this is what a way of cleansing him. He's lucky. But... Let me get to something that I don't know anyone addressed yet. And that is, but what do I do? What do I do when I'm in shul and I feel there's something very important for me to say? I must say it. It's important. And the Yetzirah comes to me and tells me, it's a Tvar Mitzvah. It's a Chesed. What do I do then? What do I do to be able to fight this Yetzirah? What should I do? So let me give you an answer that is known in the Navaraki yeshivas in Europe. And they gave him in a moshe. 
a parable. A yid who needed panosa. Shabbos was walking down the street. And lo and behold, looks down and he finds a bag of money. The Yitzhahara tells him, the Ebrist is giving you a matona. He's solving your problem. Just pick up the bag of money and go. The Yitzhahara tells him, Shabbos. The Yitzhahara wins. Okay, Zok the Yitzhahara. So move it over, pick it up. Walk slowly, dollar by dollar, and hide it in the bushes. The Yitzhahara says, Mokta. The eight toy one again. The eight tower said, Okay, stand there. Put your foot on it. Stand there. And he stands there. Sure enough, another yid's walking down the street. And the yid's eyes sees him standing on the bag of money. It's mine. Don't get near it. It's mine. I'm not coming to take that money, he tells him. I just want to let you know that I just heard that the police are out looking for a bag of counterfeit money. And anyone that has that bag of counterfeit money is in big, big, big trouble. What does this year do? His foot is on the bag, just runs away, leaves the counterfeit money. The way to fight this Yetzirah is to know that what you want to tell your friend is counterfeit. What you think is important it's counterfeit. What you want to say and feel that's Kima Mitzvah, it's counterfeit. By knowing that it's counterfeit and it's Maisa Yetzer, I think it will help you to control yourself. And with controlling yourself in today's day and age, is just like the Goyen writes in his letter to his mother and to his wife that by holding yourself back from talking, you create a malach, which this mouth is so huge, and this mouth is for you. The same is true, holding yourself back from talking in shul, holding yourself back from taking out the cell phone, holding yourself back from your smartphone, and even davening with your smartphone. The siddurim are crying, take me out, use me, use me. So David the Gavin, that beschus this gewaltige mitzvah, that someone will, one person will hold himself back, that ganz klau yisrael zoiche sein, to the binyin by yishlishi, im heir of yameinu, all of us will be there. Amen. Ken yirotzen.